justice knows no boundaries. The truth will be heard. Fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Michelle Leahy is suing former family friend Bill Devaney in the amount of $2,687. She says her son was injured by a farm animal while under the defendant's care. Mr. Devaney claims the boy taunted his pet and has himself to blame for the injury. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties haven't sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. Your little one got injured. Yes. And now you have these damages and you want Mr. Devaney to pay for them. Exactly. To the tune of $2,687. And how did the situation unfold? Well, I entrusted the care of my seven-year-old to Bill and through his negligence, my son got severely hurt and um, I got out of a really abusive relationship, so this time was supposed to be a healing time. And this relationship you were in, was this your husband? It, it was my ex-husband. And this, and this is Jake's dad? Correct. And you moved back home mm -hmm. because of the behavior that your husband was... I, I had to get away. I mean, I consider myself one of the lucky ones. Mm -hmm. I had to think of my son first, so I mean, it was, it was really much of a no-brainer. I had to leave. What's the story with you? And you, you said, okay, you come here with your son, no problem. Yeah, I mean, the story, so I live in Hammond. I was born in Hammond. I'm, yes. I'm still in Hammond. All right. Um, traveled a bit, but I run a farm. We farm in about 10 acres. I have a couple of farm animals, pigs. We have a llama um, that is part of the object of what's going on here with the accident. For, you know, 20 years, we've, we've been great friends. In fact, in high school, we were together. So, we were, you know. We were high school sweethearts. We were high school sweethearts. So what happened? Yeah. Life took a different turn, basically. Okay. And um, I, he's remained close with my family for many years. My, my father ended up working with him for a long time before he passed away. And uh, my mother, on her transition to Florida, stayed with Bill for a bit Your as well. Your mother moved to Florida? Correct. And, and so you kept in contact with her mother saying, yeah, she's a, uh, she's and her father. Yes, sir. Because? Well, she, she's one of my best friends. I have, I, have, you know, I have a lot of love for Michelle. So... Um, she's, she's my girl. Uh, so, I, you know, this is the reason I've welcomed her back into the house when her Whose decision was marriage to break was up? Mine. You didn't want to break up with her? Not especially. You when think I... you made a mistake? No. In terms of maybe not... No, no, not at all. You still have feelings for her? Yeah. Of course I do. Yes. And something happened with your son and the llama. Right. Tell me about that. So I was at work and into my shift I get a call that my son's in the ER. I rush to see my son and I'm told that his foot is destroyed. Here's what was happening. So I have a little enclosed fence area and I was going to show him how we're walking around. Jake was sitting on the fence. Um, he was watching. I did a little perimeter loop, came back and I was going off to get an apple to feed the llama and I heard sounds, I heard a bray. That, that you know, the boy fell off and how did he, he, wait, he spooked the llama, basically. Step. You said you walked away to get an apple, and then you said he fell off. He climbed onto the llama, attempting oh, to ride off. Why just... was my son on a fence in the first place? He's seven years old, and He's the llama's twice his size. Tom Sawyer. Well, wait a minute. No. He's seven years old. He was on a fence near where the llama was. Just hanging out, and like a spectator walked away watching. for a moment. Walked away for a moment. And he decides, I'm going to jump on. I'm going to jump on. Ride him around. As a seven-year-old, because a seven-year-old. And that's a why you should keep your eye on him. That's why he went to the ER. When Jake got on top of the llama, the llama responded. Spooked. He wasn't expecting it. Spooked. Threw him off, and he kind of kicked, kind of tried to trample him. Didn't know what had gotten on him, but I was there. I was, uh, yeah. you know, two seconds away. The llama came back and pulled him out. Trample Jake. He just, this is what they do. It's, you know, it's their way of protecting them. Sure. Yeah. He bucked him, tried to, if and he hit his that ankle. Could happen. And, he, he, right, and he, happen. and he tried to stomp him in his ankle area. Yeah. yeah. And, and then at that point, he's a small take boy. Jake to the ER. Pulled him out immediately and rushed to the ER. And, right. and called And of call course, you're like, this is my baby. This is. And he's all, I, I mean, we're all, all we have of each other is each other, you know? 
I mean, we just went through something really traumatic, and to have this happen to him when I just wanted to keep him safe finally, and this was supposed to be a healing experience for him, something well, it has stable. Been a healing not, no, not when he's in the ER. That's not healing. No, I'm, I'm talking but about you over get the that. last six months. You don't have kids. Coming up on America's Court. Did she tell you I'm breaking up with you for a reason? I mean, did he cheat on you? Did, was he no, it was it was far worse. I mean, he's putting all this on me again as if I'm the guilty one, and he made me get an abortion. Come on. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. We're back with the case of Michelle Leahy, who is suing Bill Devaney for negligence. So the damages that we're looking at, this 2687, are the medical injuries Jake sustained. Yes. Yes, I'll see whatever you have. Mr. Devaney, why aren't you responsible for those injuries? Well, I just don't understand why we're taking this in, you know, into the public courtroom. You because know, you're not. Why is this not something that we, as friends, could talk about? And, well, obviously, you, know, you all tried that, and that didn't work. That's are, you're not. Are you still living with him? I'm moving out. I got my She's stuff still out already. You're still there. I, I I moved my stuff out. Well, you've moved your stuff out, but there's still some things there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not. A, yeah. There's. And you all can work this out between the two of you. Well, I don't know. I mean, no. I think I, th I think there's something going on with Michelle. He refuses to step up to the plate. I, maybe I'm you not fully understanding. You refuse to step up to the plate. That's, uh, the, that's the whole thing. Well, this is something that we can Talk agree. Sorry, this is something that that I mean, I'm willing to work out. I mean, you know, this is my friend, and and you know, I've, I've basically adopted her son into the house. It, it's looking like we are a family unit, and um, I was hoping. And I'm doing my best wait a minute. to fill in as wait, that role. Wait. What'd you just say? I was hoping that it was going to go back to the way it was. Well, why did it you break up with them to begin back. with? Hmm? Why did you break up with them to begin with? Um, it was high school. It was so long ago. It was, um, there was just a lot did going she, on. I had and to. And you didn't want to break up with her then? No. Did she tell you, I'm breaking up with you for a reason? I mean, did he cheat on you? Did, was he no, it was, it was far worse. In high school. I mean, he's putting all this on me again as if I'm the guilty one, and he made me get an abortion. Come on. Okay. You were pregnant. Yes. You were the father. I would have been. She told you she was pregnant. Yes? Yes. And what was your response to that? What are we going to do? No, it wasn't. No. He made me get an abortion. I didn't make no. You went to your sister, and she recommended that you get an abortion and offered to pay for it. What did you say to her? Well, I, uh, I don't know. What do we do? I mean, we were 15. Yeah, we were 15, but I was willing to step up to the plate. I was there alone, and I'm the one that paid for it. Where were you? Your Honor, there's a difference of opinion. Mm, not from where I sit. Yeah. You weren't ready to be a father. I was not, and she was not ready to be a mother. So I want you to be open to seeing the correlation between the child that she no longer has and Jake. And she's seeing there's pain associated with the child that is no longer here, and there's pain associated with Jake, and Jake was in your care. I don't think I connected that before, and I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Does that make sense? Why does it make sense to you now? We were so young, so, so I don't, I mean, we didn't take it lightly, but, uh, you know, we were two 15-year-old kids. Got it. Um, so, so that's what some of this is about. With a grown-up problem. Very much so. Yeah. So there were these injuries. Jake was in your care. You're saying it was an accident. Yeah. You assumed the responsibility of looking after him. Mm -hmm. These costs have to be paid. You love her. I do. You want to be with her. I do. She said you didn't step up when you were 15. Here's your chance to step up now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Based on the evidence and testimony before this court, the gap was going to come down in favor of the plaintiff. I'm going to help you step up and do the right thing. And if you really love her, you'll say, I'm sorry. And how can we make this work? Because I can see the two of you being together. There's some pain there. I get it. I get it. 
But that is going to be your judgment. Well, can I say it now? What do you want to say? Well, I want to apologize. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I know we were young, but, but I want you to know that, that I know he's not mine, but I do think of Jake as, you know, as a son. And I've, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be open and I am trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to help you.